So I'm Chad McGeehee. I'm the director of meditation training for the University of Wisconsin Athletic Department, uh, an affiliate of the Center for Healthy Minds at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Uh, and in my role, I kind of lead and learn what it takes to implement meditation training uh, in major college sports. Awesome. Why do you believe it is important to bring meditation into football? I think um, we oftentimes in sport talk about the importance of the mental game, yet we end up in this mental training paradox where we talk about the importance of it, yet we don't actually train for it. Mm -hmm. So this turns that upside down and says we're actually going to train for the qualities of mind that we're so interested in. So how many times in football do we say things like next play? And we just expect it to magically happen that like a guy is going to be able to forget about what happened on the last play or not be lost in what's coming up in the upcoming drive. We hope that he's present. We're not hoping anymore in this training. Mm -hmm. We're actually training the mind to experience it more regularly. I love that. That's awesome. And then what is a story from an athlete you, uh, you coach that clearly shows the power in meditation? Yeah. Um, I think about, um, was talking to a D lineman recently and he said, oftentimes for him, um, like his mind will just race, even if it's, you know, on the field during a play, you can just notice he gets a little scattered. And so now in his routine, what he does is, you know, play comes in, he's got the play, mm -hmm. then he makes his pre-snap read. Uh, and then he literally feels his hand in the dirt, like mm -hmm. the sensations, the immediacy feels the breath come in, go out, and then just let it, let it rip, let it play, right? That's like true. all the work is done, and then he's able to just then be responsive yeah. and flexible and just kind of like let it happen. That's so cool. That's like that groundedness, like getting into your body. Mm -hmm. um, and then what is a simple practice you recommend that an athlete watching could try out? Yeah, there's lots of really interesting practices. Um, I mean, I think at any given moment, an athlete can just stop there's a great line from coach Tom Coughlin, be where your feet are. Mm. So right now I'd encourage any athlete to literally feel the sensations that are happening in your feet, mm. pressure against the floor, warmth, coolness. Mm. The only time you can experience a sensation is in the present moment. So it literally gets your mind and body in the same place, whether that's in the squat rack, in the film room, you know, before kickoff, with friends and family, in studies, whatever you're doing in your life, getting present so that you can fully take advantage of the moment that's in front of you. Totally, totally. I love that. Um, and last, last question, what are some do's and don'ts for an athlete who is meditating for the first time? Yeah, that's really fun. Um, I would say do check it out. Um, <laughs> yep. Just like be curious. Uh, uh, and then, and don't, I would say, don't judge it too early. Um, you know, it's a new practice. It's something, you know, that folks are, you know, if you're exploring it for the first time, just going to do it and see what happens, uh, connect with other people who are interested in it. Um, and then just kind of continue to, to cycle through and start to find practices and, and ways of doing it that, that work for you. Awesome. Thank you, Chad. I appreciate it. And, uh, I think it's awesome what you're doing.